The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. Uh-oh, I don't know what happened to the chart. I hope it's still up there. Let's just, yeah, there we go. Uh, this chart is the one that's most important, folks. This is the yield curve, two-year, 10-year, and as you can see, the circles there, those are danger points. If you look at the one in 2000, what happened then? Hmm. Look at the one in 2008. Hmm. What happened then? And look where we are now. Hmm. Look how negative that chart looks, boys and girls. Whoa, shut the front door and raise a rent. Rates are going to go higher. How much higher and when? I don't know for sure. But you know what? Nobody else does either. That's the main thing. Now, we have a couple of positions on that I should talk about. Uh, I'm, I'm really unbelievable that we only have one market that's uh, relatively strong. The, the one that we're watching was the corn market. You know, we bought the corn. It held up, and I had the choice of either taking a small profit or riding with it. So I said, we're going to ride with it, and it turned out to be uh, the right thing to do so far. But that's a little bit earlier in the day. Now, the other one that we were watching very, very closely because of the fact that, you know, we've been uh, following the euro for, for quite a while. I just wanted to walk through the sequence because part of this was covered yesterday when we were here, and I wanted to go through it again because – this dollar index is in a world of itself, folks. It's in a parabolic move. We'll show you a few examples of that. But there was the rally that we had coming off of par. We went down below just a little bit, rallied exactly up to the 61% retracement. And so the game plan was, you know, watch, you know, watch for an ABCD pattern at a 382. And that would be the best possible entry that you could get if you were going to do the euro. And by golly, Guess what the old market did? Doesn't always do this, but today it did what it was supposed to do. It went right up and made the beautiful uh, retracement then. And then, of course, we broke down really badly, completing that big ABCD to the downside right here. That was well over $1,300 in profit had you been able to get that one off. So it worked relatively well this time. But remember, what we do here, these are patterns, folks. That's all they are. They're predictable within limits, but they do tell you when you're wrong. Get out of Dodge. That's basically it. The, yesterday, the crude oil, we had such a – and I have, I have to say that I do get flack from our, my, my subscribers for 24-7 and stuff because, you know, we had a, a $2,000 profit in uh, crude oil and it turned out to be a break-even trade, okay? We had a $1,500 profit in uh, – what was the other one? I can't remember what the other one was. That also broke even. And then, of course, uh, we had the corn on and the euros. Those are working relatively well. So that part of the equation is, is doing okay. But I wanted to show you what happened after that because I, I tried sending these out. And believe me, to try to get them out uh, as quick as I can is really a difficult thing. Now, we watch ABCDs quite a bit, folks. Do they work all the time? Oh, my gosh, no. But they work some of the time, and that's what you want to be looking. Here's a, a little uh, five, five, four or five-minute chart on crude oil. You can see the low that was made back there. Perfect ABCD up there. And as you can see, had a tiny bit of sell-off there. And it went from uh, 95 all the way down to 91. I'll just get this up here. And that sort of makes up for the old uh, crude oil trade. Now, I'm not able to get these out fast enough. I do the best I can. I try to talk to you in the videos that, look, if this doesn't work, watch for the ABCDs, folks. They're everywhere. This is what Mandelbrot worked on, and, you know, Gartley worked on them. And I work on them, and a whole lot of other people do. Do they work all the time? Heck no, but nothing else does either. But they do give you a really good shot at where the market should be going, and that's all we're looking at here today. I mean, overnight last night, we had several 
of these uh, approaching in the uh, E-mini S&P and then also in the, uh, uh, what do we call it, the, uh, the uh, shut the front door, the, uh, oh, give me a break here. What was the word I'm trying to think of? Well, I'm trying to do two things at once, folks. I'm putting in orders and trying to talk, and that never works very well. So uh, our, our guest today will be Rich Anderson. He's going to be talking to us about the grain markets because we have a lot of stuff going on. I think the main thing that we have to remember – I want to show one other really cool-looking ABCD here that uh, that happened. Um, this is a, the secondary one. Hold, it. Let's just get this out of the way first. Here's one we just had, just completed this ABCD in the natural gas, and gee whiz, you talk about something that carries a big stick. This one really swings, folks. I mean, these these are these are three and four thousand dollar moves in between swings on this chart. So these are huge. We went all the way down there, and then we started to rally back. Whether it's continued to rally back. I don't know, but that is an ABCD, and all we're doing is we're trying to find the ones that look like they're tradable. We don't have to risk an arm and a leg, and that's what you know basically what we're what we're trying to do as we as we look at these. Okay, now I wanted to uh, cover one other one here. Uh, oh, here's I'll do. The, I wanted to get the uh, get the, the corn up here so we can see where we are here with the corn, because what we did was, and this is. Remember when I, you know, I, I have to put these out as soon as I see them. So, you know, we bought this right, you know, down in here at this A B C D down in this area right here. Okay, then it had a big move up, it backed off. Okay, uh, nothing wrong with the the retracements were the same. Makes it a one three five pattern, and so I said, okay, we we put our stop right below that point right there. That locks in. About a hundred and fifty dollar profit right now. It's got about a seven hundred dollar profit in it. About twenty minutes ago when I watched it, but uh, that's what we're watching here. Now the fact that we took out these highs and didn't go anywhere was a little troublesome, but <laughs> troublesome. But you know you you can't do everything. So all I got to do is try to manage these risks, you know, the best I can, and that's what I'm trying to do as I watch these things uh, unfold here today. I listened to Basil and. Uh, there is a, you know, this market's gotten beaten up really badly. We went way below the price levels that we thought would be support. That was at uh, 37.60, and we went through that all the way down to 37.20 and change, I believe. And I think we're in the midst of a rally from what I could understand. But the one thing that we really need to discuss now and then also in the second part of this is the what's happening to the U.S. dollar index, folks, because yesterday we had that incredible nice little reversal, and we we, we showed you the 61% uh, retracement in the euro on that. But look at this. You see where we were here? We just backed off a tiny, tiny bit, folks, making that little tiny ABCD, and this puppy hit 109 and change, almost 110. So when, when these things take off, you've got to get out of the way. And that's uh, that's your job as a trader is when you're wrong, you know, get out. That's all there is to it. If you remember, we had a really neat trade set up that worked actually pretty good. It, you know, made $500 before we were stopped out. But look at this on the dollar yen, folks, how the 137 and change looked to be a major area. Hello, operator. Look up. 140. 140. Yes, sir. Away she goes. 877-927-6648. In a time of booming inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a tier one mining district. This is a large scale, low cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd feasibility study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. 
Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the Opening Call newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the Opening Call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 Days Risk-Free today. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, what I was doing when we were, when I fumbled my words, I was trying to do a trade at the same time I was talking, and walking and chewing gum is not always fun. Anyway, um, it did, did turn out okay. I posted it in there to show you the other ABC. It just happened in the uh, crude oil. Uh, folks, this is just a you know four-minute chart, but this thing swings two $3,000 uh, within swings most of the time and so all you're trying to do is to find a simple ABCD pattern and to line it up so that you've got something that you're able to look at that says yes this is tradable and I can do it and that's what we're trying to do when we do this now we do add you know the ratios in of 0.382618786 but the basis of everything we do is AB equals CD I know you get tired of hearing it but I don't and that's what counts. Today is a very, very important day in the old cowboy's life, boys and girls. I have to give you a little history. we got to go back to 1950 there in Clinton, Indiana, where I was born. I was living there with my grandparents. And my grandfather, he had a little Ford pickup truck. And he said, we're going on a road trip. He says, we're going to be gone for five or six days. He said, are you ready to go? And I said, I am. He said, we're going to sleep in the back of the truck. And we did. And we went to Saratoga, New York to see War Admiral. He was being paraded around. He ran a mile just for exercise in front of everybody, about 50,000 people. And here's a 10-year-old kid there with his grandpa who got to drive about 400 of the 1,100 miles over to Saratoga, and we sp spent two days with relatives because the Pesavento and Sartori's families that came here from Italy uh, went to Saratoga because that's where the coal mines were, and they worked in the coal mines until they realized it was easier to make uh, corn whiskey and grappa, which is grappa, and wine and salami and stuff, and so they moved to Chicago. But anyway, that was a time with my grandpa that I never forgot. We got to see the great War Admiral. If you ever saw the movie uh, Sea Biscuit, War Admiral was the horse that uh, Sea Biscuit beat, and the reason why War Admiral was so important because he's Daddy was a big, big, big time horse called Man of War. And the only time Man of War ever lost a race, he was undefeated except for one time in Saratoga, New York, 
where a horse beat him, and the horse was 90 to 1, and you'll never guess what the horse's name was. Upset. Anyway, that's the horse, uh, that was, or the, the theory, or the story behind Saratoga. Uh, tomorrow, I got some stuff. My sister sent me some uh, pictures that I want to share with you, uh, Tommy John and stuff from the family that I think you'll like. And also, uh, we have a picture of my, my aunt and, and her cousin in uh, 19, this is 19, was it 1930? Yeah, 1933. Uh, my my mom was I think she was nine yeah she was nine years old and her my her cousin Addie was uh, two years older and they had their picture taken on the floorboard of a of a Studebaker uh, ah what am I talking about a Cadillac and the driver of the Cadillac was none other folks you're not going to believe this was John Dillinger and because he was from right out at right in Ter- not from Terre Haute he was over by little north of Indianapolis. But uh, he was selling whiskey and all through that area during the Depression, and that's how the family supported themselves. Okay. Oh, what, well, I won't go into that. Probably not necessary to hear that. But uh, we're going to have Rich on at the break to go through some of these things here uh, to look at. But I had to share that stuff with you because uh, very important because I remember that like uh, like it was uh, like it was yesterday. Okay. A couple other charts that uh, I want to share with you. Here is the. Uh, this is the SPX, of course, which is the E-mini S&P. We, I, I don't want to show the chart of Apple again, folks. I've shown it so many times, it's, it's, it's just unbelievable. But the reason why this stuff is so important is what you're looking at here, okay? All right, what you're looking at here, Apple made the ABCD on this, folks. We, we showed you this many times up there at 148.23. Okay, well, the high was 148.44. That was a ABCD on the weekly chart. That's why this is so very, very negative. Now, if, if Apple turns around and gets above 148, this thing has legs that can go a long way. But until that happens, uh, we're in a very, very vicious bear market. You know, that's, uh, that's the key to remembering these things that, you know, they don't always go in one direction. Now, they've been going down for quite some time in the acceleration that's coming might be even greater than you might want to think about. But I'm going to do something. I'm going to show you that Apple chart because it's that important to me and Mr. Jim Bartolioni, who was our guest on Tuesday. Today we have Rich Anderson. Tomorrow we have uh, Paula Douglas. And uh, Paula is a new homeowner now. You'll notice here this beautiful ABCD. Now, this is the hourly, as you can see that. Uh, it goes back uh, quite a ways. But let's go back. And look at the weekly, because the weekly is where the Big Daddy Rabbit has done his singing and why we feel, felt, fielded, hello operator, why we felt that the market was going to be relatively bearish after this happened on Tuesday. And that's exactly what happened. You see, we've sold off quite a bit. But anything above that 149 level now in Apple, you do not want to be short that stock. If it doesn't, there's a lot of negativity out there, folks. And I know if you look at that yield curve, there should be. And uh, things could get a lot worse. I mean, when you stop and think what's happening in at Heathrow Airport, that they, that they won't allow summertime flights now. And Quantum Airlines, they've disconnected their telephones. They won't even take money. The only way you can get a Qantas Air f f flight is to use your points. They will not take credit cards or money, only by points. And they have no telephone. It has to all be done, you know, over the Internet. So travel is going to be a lot more difficult than we'd like for it to be. But, you know, that's neither that's neither here nor there. we got to do, you know, one thing at a time here. Now, just give me one second, folks. I have a couple of positions on. I want to double check them here just to see, you know, what we have going on here. Okay, that's good. We had a nice little pop here. We rallied about, uh, hey, we had a good 30-handle 30 30 handle rally here. Uh, let's see how close it came to the 382, boys and girls, just for kicks and giggles. Give me a second here, and I will get it up here, and we will check it out. And my guess is, oh, 382s don't work very much, so this probably didn't do it, but let's just get together. <laughs> oh, <coughs> one second. Oh, boys and girls, this will only take a minute. i got to get the right time frame in here so we can see it. All right, there's what we want to be watching here. And we're going to take a look to see how close it came to the 382 on this rally. Hello, operator. Shut the front door and raise the rent. I'm going to get this up here. So, well, I've got to put it on the file. 
It was right there at 3756, boys and girls. So we'll see if we can get above that. We got a chance for some more rally. Uh, the high was a 3759. So above 3760, I would think this would probably have some uh, legs to get up there. But I want to, uh, here it is right here. Just get this right up and we'll be able to see it. Rich Anderson will be on next. We're going to be talking about beans, corn, and wheat. And there it is. We just made the 382 a very strong rally, almost like what this one was right here. Here was the 135 pattern that I sent the video out on last night, saying the market was acting incredibly weak. Look at this. 135, you know, there's your 382 off of that. Hello, operator. You can't make this up. Stay tuned for Rich Anderson, Anderson Capital Management, retired. Be right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and we're chatting with Rich Anderson. Rich, how are you doing today, my friend? Doing great. Doing great. Got beautiful weather up here in Minnesota. Uh, displaying that. You mean the ice is melted? Yep. Yeah. Yep, but, oh, that's um, right. We're into July. You have those four or five days of summer between, what, the 4th of July and the 22nd, something like that? I'm sorry. Yeah, that, that, you, that you guys had in <laughs> Arizona a, and uh, Vegas yeah, you know, it's a, is forecast yeah, it's to come here. Yeah. And that's a, what I think the, the grain market's trading between risk on, risk, risk off. Mm -hmm. But when they get back to trading grains, then they're trading weather for the next two to three weeks. Well, three weeks for beans and certainly the next two weeks for corn. And it isn't just here, you know, strategy grain in uh, France lowered the production of wheat just today. And they've got, you know, France, 
Italy, Portugal, Spain. They've got a big heat wave going on right now. Also, China has a big heat wave going on. So yeah. it's kind of interesting. I'm watching last week's lows at 566 in the corn, 1302 in the beans, and 802 in the wheat. The seasonal tendency is uh, once we get through this weather, it, you know, when the corn is silking, if it's really, really hot, that makes it hard to pollinate, and then the embryos, the, the kernels of corn, don't develop the way they should. Uh, the the, the uh, genetic technology is is incredible, but you know weather still rules, and so we we need to watch that. But on days one, like the other day when crude oil was down eight dollars, well, the, the corn's taken a, a big hit because the last four weeks ethanol production from corn has been lower. And so they're they're kind of tagging along with the oil market. The, um, the you see the Chinese stepped in and bought a little wheat today from the U.S. And I think they're looking at corn. You know, they're as good a traders are better than anybody that that I know. Well, that's and, for sure. <laughs> you know, we're at the insurance levels for the farmers. And let's look at the price of corn right now. The price of corn on July is at seven thirty seven. Yeah. And you know, most people are washing their bees at six dollars. Well. If, if if they're willing to pay seven thirty seven right now because they need it, is, yeah. is that bearish? Yeah. And let's well, look I, at the price yeah. of November beans. Um, yeah. Well, I, I'm they're, bullish. They're, they're I going to have the yeah. same thing. And that tells I, you there's real demand there. There's somebody really willing to pay cash money because they need it to use it. The beans right now, the last in the July beans is the. Uh, well, fifteen eighty six is a bid. There has, you know, it's hard to ever trade. The volume is only fourteen contracts a day because it's going off the board. But the bottom line is the basis is very strong. The front month futures are very strong. That shows you demand for the product, real demand for the product. The August beans are a dollar twenty over the over the SEP and a dollar forty two over the note. You know, that's that's demand. The users, then users need it. There's been some pressure on the wheat market because of the negotiations going on between Russia, Turkey, and Ukraine about exporting out of Odessa. But they first would have to clear the mines. And clearing those mines, I'm not a military expert, but would take anything from one month to five months. It's not a, you know, turn the light switch on and we can yeah. run the ships in and out now. It's going to take time. And then you, you've got to trust the Russians. And when they had the uh, evacuation zones, they kept bombing them. So uh, who knows? I think uh, given the weather, you know, you have to look at the markets, given the possibility of putting some more risk premium on. The economics, you know, you look at the dollar making new highs. Well, that you know, every time the dollar goes up, that's, that's making our grains more expensive to the the rest of the world. So even yeah. though the price has gone down, but the dollar going up, the price hasn't gone down that much. And as, as we looked at the front months, is where the real demand is. And that that is that's the key. And that's the key as I see it. So they, they've washed this market out. It was a flush and rinse. The lows they may get tested, and, but if they get tested and hold, they'll snap back. And you know, I figure something between where a new crop is and where the front months. July goes off the board, you know, that's kind of my minimum target. And you, you just trade it technically. Uh, one of the old technical signals that we used to use was a Lindahl Wiggle. And, and oh, as my an example, gosh. We've had that on the corn. <laughs> Gary, Gary Lindahl Wiggle. Uh, Rich that's is a talking long time about, ago, Larry. That's back yeah, in the that's 80s right. when we were young. <laughs> Gary. Gary, Lind Gary Lindahl was an a, a oral surgeon up in San Francisco, and he developed this little thing with uh, Walt Bressert and John Hill called the Lindahl Wiggle, which is basically uh, a, a playoff of the 135 pattern. Very, very right. close to it, but he played that, and it it's, uh, was very, very good. It's very similar to the 135, but he named it after himself. And it was very popular until he passed away, and then people forget it, and then uh, the old guys pass on, and, you know, what are you going to do? So, But that's basically yeah. what it was. It's a darn good pattern for cycles, for sure. Oh, absolutely, and especially after you've had a flush and rinse like we just had. You know, the crop report that came out um, – yeah. wasn't that negative, but that was a risk off day and they're pounding, you know, the, the funds are getting out money flow rules. Yeah. And so when the funds are getting out and the money flow is going, they're selling everything. 
And, yeah. you know, these yeah. guys that are looking at just commodity indexes like the CRB or the Deutsche Bank, you know, they have some negatives built in because they're, they're, they're out there, depending on which months they buy, the Deutsche Bank rolls, you know, twice a year. Um, yeah, and the carrying charge is what eats up most commodity indexes. And that's why they don't work very good. Kind of like in the ETFs in the uh, two and three yeah. times long or short ETFs in the yeah. indexes. Yeah. Rich, what and do you know we're, about... We're, by the way, we're uh, expecting a, a 1% increase, you know, at, at minimum a three-quarter from the Fed this month. And, you know, you know what happened the last month when they did a three-quarter. And yesterday, Canada raised theirs, not three-quarters, which was expected, but a full percentage point. And it was 40 years ago that Volcker took care of inflation and we're oh, going to see what these yeah. guys are up to i mean you know i don't have lots of faith in them when they were yep. calling it transitory you know four or five months ago they i i remember that, missed economics I, 101 i remember that day like it was yesterday it was august the 9th i was sitting there in beverly hills in the old drexel office and i and i saw the price of bonds you know we were trading at like 56 in bonds you know they're what one uh 114 or something or 140 today uh, I mean that was uh, that's when interest rates were uh, you could <laughs> it was ridiculous T-bill rates were 13 percent folks and a mortgage a mortgage I think were 14 or 15 percent to get a mortgage and people were paying it you know that's what yeah. was uh, so ridiculous rich I have a question for you I, I saw an article this morning real early about BlackRock is in trouble uh, about some kind of a litigation over some ETFs. Do you know anything about that? Because they're, you know, BlackRock, uh, what's the other one? Black, uh, BlackRock and State Street and Vanguard, you know, they run you know, 99% of all the ETFs. I mean, do you know what's right. that referring to? I uh, know um, because I was up early uh, exercising. But, uh, yeah. yeah, me too. So I'm, I'm, getting I'm not up to date on the news, yeah. but I, I can certainly find out. I'll let, I'll let you know. Yeah. I got to take my bride out to to lunch, yeah. and then I'll uh, do some research, and I'll get back to you on that. That's good. Are you still weighing what you were weighed in high school, Rich? Yep. Wow. Yep. That's that's really uh, cool. Con considering you 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 knew me when I was a lot more than that. Yeah. Well, I true. I see. I've been able to maintain my physique through all these years, where other people have had to fight with their weight. You know, I've kept mine at a at a very strong three hundred and forty pounds, so I don't have to vacillate one. I'm not quite that heavy. But, uh, <laughs> hey, listen. Thanks for joining us, buddy. We'll have you on again soon. Okay. All right. You take care. Be Great okay, well. brother. Bye bye. bye. FNN has been your trusted source of analysis for bonds, metals, stocks, commodities, and options for years. And we are happy to announce that we are bringing that same caliber of analysis for the Forex market. Teddy Kekstad has 30 plus years of experience in Forex trading, commodity risk management, Forex hedging, volatility, and so much more. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with elite coverage of all major currency pairs, including the DXY, Euro Dollar, Pound Dollar, Aussie Dollar, dollar yen, dollar Swiss franc, and so much more. Teddy will recommend specific trades when the market presents them and provide updates throughout the week when warranted. For the month of July, inaugural members to the Tiger Forex Report will receive 25% off the month with subscription for as long as they're subscribed. Just use promo code TEDDY25 to lock in the added savings. This offer is good only for the month of July, so do not miss your opportunity to save on the Tiger Forex Report. TFNN, educating investors. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. 
You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, I just realized the alert went off on the E-mini S&P. We were looking at uh, uh, 3755. Is it 382? It backed off 10 points, and then it's exploded to the upside, which I was glad to see because I want this market to hold this level. And I'm, you know, not that it makes a lot of difference. I, because uh, uh, I trade both sides of it as often as I can. Uh, if you look at it, you know, on the bottom that it made down there, it had a beautiful uh, three drive to a bottom pattern. In fact, I think I was getting ready to post this so to take a look at it. And then I have to talk to you about soybean meal because the alert just went off while we were talking with Rich. He was just leaving, so I didn't get a chance to. Uh, Hey, we've got a caller on the line, and what can we do for you today? Good morning, Larry. John, uh, John from Philly calling. John from Philly. Your name is vaguely familiar. Your voice is very familiar. <laughs> Mr. Z, how are you doing? I'm doing very well. Thanks for having Rich on. And uh, just to reemphasize what he says, you know, this massive volatility in these grain futures. Remember, this is a function of speculative money flow in and out. Uh, so... The news of the day might be bullish or bearish, and the price effect can be uh, highly exaggerated because of these flows. That's for sure. I, I just posted a chart here of the soybean meal. My alerts just went off. We just we just took out those highs of the last three and a half weeks. This is with a bearish market for beans and oil. So the meal, which is 80% of the of the bean pod itself, is uh, acting real, really pretty good. Those of you that like ABCDs, you can see several of them on that chart. Right now, uh, Z, I've got a question for you. Do you follow the weather as closely as Rich does? I think he has three different services that, uh, you know, give him heads up on weather. But, you know, I've heard that the weatherman can only, you know, predict the weather about two hours in advance. So I, I don't do you do anything in that area as far as predicting what the weather might do? Well, I'm no weather man. And, you know, me, Larry, I don't I don't try to forecast or predict stuff, but I do yeah. track uh uh, current weather and forecast weather, and I think I I think you were on my list of recipients of a uh, corn email earlier in the week. I sent yeah, out Monday yeah, and the tenth. You sent that out on the tenth. I remember which, that. Yeah, in which I um, uh, shared the idea that it's possible 2022 is an analog year to 2010 in corn. Huh? Uh, where uh, the corn price declined into. July 4th, approximately, and into that period of time, planting was reasonably successful both years, and uh, growing conditions to start off with were fine, uh, but in 2010, uh, a crop that had a very good start, and even went through pollination okay, uh, suffered significantly from a dry August uh, such that yields came in uh, far less than what had been guessed during the summertime. So, uh, 
you know, we've got dryness uh, that's uh, showed up through uh, uh, much of the Corn Belt's the past 30 days, in fact, excessively dry. So I'm just uh, very aware that uh, that 2010 analog might be at play. If that's the case, we rally from here into yeah. October. So uh, and that is not a forecast, but that's what I can share with you. Well, I think Rich made a great point when you've got uh, SEP corn selling for $7.30 a bushel and they can't get enough of it because there's hardly any of it out there. And here you've got a buck 20 or buck 30 under uh, in the December and they have to have a good crop or th there's going to be trouble uh, feeding some people in some foreign countries that, because we export so much corn. And uh, I'm, uh, that, I'm, That's absolutely true. Larry, could I change yeah. the subject? I called in to ask you to... Uh, ask you if you could pull up the NASDAQ 100 futures, the NQU2 contract. I, I'm sure. specifically interested if you can give me what you see on your four-hour chart. Uh, fact sure. of the matter, I bought this morning, or rebought the um, uh, the SEP NASDAQ futures down at 105.60. That was a FIB 786 level versus yep. yesterday's low down at 104.80. Uh, if you could show yep. that four-hour um, chart, tell me what you see, I see and tell I me, see exact, can you yeah. envision that low holding and rallying yes, up I, towards 12200 Yep, it certainly could. Z, just give me a second. I have to put it into the file to get it on the, for TFNN, but you're absolutely correct. There was a bottom there. I was watching the three-drive to a bottom pattern at 3725 in the S&P, and, uh, of course, it took off pretty good. So give me one second here to get this up, if I can see. I've got so many of them on here now. It'll take me just a second to find it. Oh, that's the meal. I want to do the meal next. Uh, uh, where are you? Oh, come on. Well, Rich, I'm doing my best. Unfortunately, my best is not good enough here because I can't find the darn thing now. I know it's here, so just give me a little bit more time here to find it and if I don't find it I'll I'll post it uh, during the break for sure why can't I this can't be it is it there it is by golly this takes the old cowboy just a little extra time to get it but we'll find I got about 40 of them on here but there's your four hour chart in the NASDAQ and you'll see here the low of the day didn't even take out the low of several days ago uh, was exactly 78% right there at 15,500 and change. And we've rallied how many? We've already rallied 100 and some handles already, haven't we? I think so, yeah. I stepped yeah. away from the screen, but I think that's right. Yeah, that's what that's saying. So it's acting pretty good. As a matter of fact, if you look at it really closely, you're looking at a beautiful 135 pattern. You know, there's the. There's the main thing to look at. So there's your one over there on the far left. There's your three right in the middle. And higher bottoms, <laughs> nothing bearish about that. And, you know, Basil Chapman alerted us to that when he was, you know, an hour, well, two hours ago when he was on. He kept saying, hey, this doesn't look bad at all. And by golly, you know, he talked about Larry Williams wanting to buy. And I can tell you one thing, Larry is no fool. He's, uh, he's a smart cookie. So there's a pattern there that doesn't look that bearish. I... I came in today knowing we were going to be down strong, but I was trying to find a, a bottom that I could send out. But it was happening so fast with crude oil and all the other stuff that I was looking. I just couldn't do it all at once. So uh, I'm seeing it uh, here in the NASDAQ even clearer than uh, it is in the E-mini S&P because this is actually holding up relatively well. God bless you, Larry, for doing that and doing it for uh, subscribers to your uh, your newsletter. I uh, I marvel at your ability to do that. Uh, Me being a slow learner, I can only handle about one thing yeah, at a right. time, and so I can make the decision for myself. But trying to share with others well, in real time, well, I tell you, I don't have that skill you do. Well, John, let me explain to you. Just stay with me for a second. I have a tremendous educational background. Because the four years I was in the fifth grade was very helpful to me to get me to the sixth grade because I was only in the sixth grade for two years. So it takes me a little while, but when I eventually get it, I'll be all right. <laughs> what was what was the name of that sister that uh, held you back three years in the fifth grade? <laughs> sister, sister Estelle. She's uh, she's retired. She 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 actually was at the Vatican Library uh, for years, and she still lives in Italy. 
She's in her 80s and doing well. Anyway, listen, we'll talk to you later, brother. Thanks a lot, Z. Appreciate it. Thank you. Bye. You bet. We'll be right back, folks. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks. I have something special for you, folks. Stay with me here just one second because it won't take very long. But uh, Ch uh, Shane Smolian uh, sent something to me uh, about Pythagoras. And I will tell you, folks, this is hands down the best YouTube I have ever seen. Hold on just a second. I'm going to say, say copy the link so that I get it. I sent it to everybody that I knew, all the students, everybody at TFNN that I could get. But the folks here at TFNN, I'm going to put it into the Tiger chat here, uh, and you'll be able to get it. It's a – hold on. Let me paste it here. And if you have trouble, uh, you can email me at Larry at tradingtutor.com. And uh, you just go and get it. If you if you go to YouTube and uh, type in Pythagorean uh, numerology, you're going to get it. But oh gosh, for 18 minutes, if you're ever afraid of dying, folks, you got to watch this. Pythagoras was the smartest man ever to walk this planet. And those were the words of Albert Egotistical uh, Einstein, <laughs> and uh, he said there was God and there was man, and in between was Pythagoras. But you got to watch it because it is really, really 18 minutes of. I think I got more 
responses from that this uh, that email that I sent out than any trade I've ever sent out. <laughs> that's how that's how cool it was. But uh, go watch it. It's uh, it's really really good, and you you just it's a it's a no brainer. <laughs> If you just go to YouTube, Pythagorean Numerology, and you'll get it up. It's actually, everything in it is animated. Even the voice is all uh, computer animated and stuff. But the stuff behind it is just really, really exciting. It's what I believe about the afterlife and God and all that other stuff. So, uh, you know, it's, you know, death is not something you want to fear because, uh there's only one person to ever come back from it. Anyway, let's remind ourselves it's not how much money you make. It's how much money you don't lose. And that's it. Look at look at uh, the dudette. She's just now covering her long E-mini S&P. God bless you, Maria. See you on the flip side tomorrow. We got Paula Webb will be our guest. May God bless. Mm -hmm.